The Reds have been on a roll and they returned home tonight. It's a bustling night downtown as Reds fever is in full force. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis is live in the middle of all that action tonight. Amy? Well, Clyde, Reds fever is still high despite them losing to the Padres tonight, ending their 10-game winning streak tonight. Now, you know, downtown is still bustling with fans, and fans say they're still along for the ride despite this loss. Now, I talked to several fans earlier today outside of Great American Ballpark when the game got underway. People of all ages were decked out in the red, showing lots of support for their team and the season thus far. Now, across the street from the Ballpark, people who didn't actually go inside the game or hanging out at local restaurants and bars getting their dose on the big screen. Now, the Bengals were even a hot topic as practice has already begun. Now, fans say they're ready for football season, but they're keeping their eye on baseball right now. I come no matter what, whether they're winning or losing. So, I mean, there's obviously a lot more people talking about the Reds this year because they're doing so well. You know, 21 games over 500 tied for the best record in the National League is a big deal. You know what? Without Joey Votto, they're doing all this. So just imagine what they're going to do when Votto comes back. I came down tonight and noticed that, that, that there were a lot of people in the seats. Lots of fans, lots of excitement. Well, the Reds take on the Padres again here at Great American Ballpark tomorrow at 710. They're in town through Sunday, so you can expect to see lots of Red fe Reds fever throughout downtown throughout the entire week. Amy Wattis, 9 News, live from downtown. And it's going to be fun to watch. Amy, thanks.